Hey there, Gemini. I hope you're well. Welcome. This is your energy update where we are going to look into your energy and see what to expect in the coming four to five weeks. Uh, also, these are timeless messages, which means that whenever you are aligned with them, there may be something in it for you. Remember to take messages that resonate as well. All right. If this video is more than 10 minutes, which it which it will most likely be, then you will find a full video on YouTube. All right, Gemini, I'm getting a lot of swords energy for you and some... You may be looking back on something that, like at that time, you didn't see something. It cost you illusions. So there may be some looking back and you're looking to write a story. Maybe you're educating yourself on this or tell your story in some way. Um, okay, so let's see more about or what comes up. Six of Wands. An energy of uh, victory here. This is moving from the five to the six. So this is, yeah, it's like you're being celebrated, recognized for something. Or this may be an energy that you are moving in into. All right, so let's see more about six of wands. The hermit, okay, you're looking into this. Or this could be someone looking into something. This is Virgo energy. This is fire. Leo, Sag, Aries. But I'm picking up if there is someone in the picture. Then this is Virgo. Or someone who has gone in to see how to win you. Oh, okay, okay. Someone has gone in to see how to win you back. Bring you back. All right, let's see more about this. Five of Wands. Moving from the five to six. So you have moved into your time of calm and peace. I feel like finally you can breathe. And you have a sense of identity, like who you are. This is self-discovery or self-awareness. You've, you've really improved yourself. After a time of conflict, it may be with this person or with a lot of people. Ace of Swords. This is the truth right there. This is your clarity. Or someone may be bringing you some truth. But yeah, you are being someone, they are searching for you. And it feels like on the energetic level, they are, they are truly searching. You may be a cross watcher as well. But someone is searching for you. It's like you just disappeared. Off the face of. I'm getting the online <laughs> online world. Maybe you went off offline. So you were in a time where you were being watched by maybe people silently. And then now that you've gone off, they are searching. They're finally seeing that you've gone off. This may be online in person as well. You were someone who spoke truth, spoke your truth. And you felt eyes on you. It's like the past was still trying to come into your new cycle. So they were kind of dampening your truth. Like truth spoken in a place, a group where they were all about bringing it down. So it's like you were not... Or maybe this is how you felt, like you didn't feel like you were speaking to people, to the right audience. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's see more about this message. Queen of Pentacles there. This is strong Virgo energy here. Or there may be something about the full moon in Virgo as well, which is coming up around the 25th of February. So there was some, there's something that will be revealed to you in the full moon in Virgo about... You're coming into some... Okay. You're coming into some massive recognition and victory. In any capacity this is. And it's closer than you think. Six of Swords. Look at that. An energy of travel here. You're traveling. You're moving towards something. Your stability, your finances. A grounded place. Karma waters. And there's something to do with your work as well. Like your purpose. It's something that gives you joy. It's like a project. Mm, okay, that's a message about learning or teaching. Like writing a story. Maybe that is what your project is about. Of moving how you moved. Reclaiming your power and moving to karma waters. But there, was, there is something definitely about the full moon in Virgo that is coming up regarding maybe some pieces that you need as well but it's granting you victory and the ability to move further into your healing process and when we say healing process of course it's the karma waters is like calm inner peace as well your abundance all right let's see where this is moving to because this queen of pentacles and hermit are facing here six of wands and six of swords are facing the other direction so whoever is looking for you they're looking in the wrong direction like they they're trying to guess what you are up to they're actually trying to guess maybe they come trying to check like oh you know are you doing this or that or like trying to bring up options and you can see through that Seven of Wands, a gated, okay, I'm picking up a gated community, Gem, you're moving to a gated community, something that feels, you feel protected, you feel guarded and safe, mm. you're moving towards your safety and your calm. And this move is being guided by some spirit guides. Okay, this may come in the form of people as well, ancestors, animals to nature, like the greens. Mm, okay. Tell us more about the hermit. Four of cups. Someone who is regretful. So they're feeling regretful. Maybe at a time you offered your cup. They didn't see it. And now they are... They're feeling like they missed out on something. On something good. This king of wands is still here. So there may be a divine masculine energy involved. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. So you have, you're coming into alignment within. They don't look happy. They are still in their number five. You've moved on to six. Your six is harmony, is balance, is self-love, is alignment with your higher self. And they may feel left behind. I see ace of wands as well. So there was maybe a lot of passion in this situation. 
you know passion meaning like love it may be romantic it may be and there were some highs in this all right it just wasn't serving you and you've had to move to focus on you eight of pentacles and four of pentacles all together three so you are it feels like you're moving alone at this time gemini and the co-creation you're having is with your spirit guides All right, Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Seven plus one is eight. These are about, this is what these are, okay? These are about your, your seeds growing. What I picture here is soil. These two figures are tending to their seeds. And this feels like your energy. So there's something about your finances definitely that is coming up around the full moon in Virgo. This may also be your energy where you are feeling... Maybe you're feeling down... about something ten of cups something that you left mm, the same people that are feeling regretful you're also feeling something And these energies are still facing that way. So I'm getting two directions here. I don't know what that means, but there is left, one facing left and the other facing right. Let's get more. The hand man. So you've had to change direction. A swift change in direction. It's like something got to you got to the height of something and you dropped it all and you changed your way, you, you changed your path completely. And I'm getting you are running over them. Maybe you're in this place where you're fearless and fierce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ten of Cups. And the Emperor. Yep. There's definitely someone here. It could be a father figure as well. A lot of earth energy with this person where there was like a happy family ish kind of situation okay family it may be like a typical family it may be a group with the three of pentacles energy that came up but yeah this person may have looked like a boss figure there's also it could be some financial control here Will be some control, like a steel. Mm. This person is definitely regretful and not liking that you've changed your direction. They're not liking the loss of control that they are feeling.
Seven of Cups. They're saying that you have so many options now. The Seven Seven energy. Your options are coming from the Divine. This is an energy of spiritual perfection, an energy of truth. You can also discern this person. You can see through them now more than ever before. Again, they're looking the wrong way. They may be sending messengers, monitoring spirits as well. Yep, this person may be doing that. Explains page of cups with the illusions. Hmm. And the full what a way to put a bang, you know, a shabang on this person. They're moving the wrong direction, they're jumping into whatever they feel they're jumping to. And they feel like this. They feel like a fool. Whatever they had planned, they're jumping into it. They say, be careful when you are digging a ditch because you may be the one to fall into it. They're falling into their own ditch. The one they have built, the hole that they have built, they are falling into it. Ten of Pentacles. 1010 energy you're coming into your new beginnings that gated community it may be physical it may be spiritual with the number seven oh, wow i'm just seeing another number seven 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 yeah so this gated community feels very much spiritual a fierce protection for you and your finances being unblocked even further, this has to be do with your manifestations and your peace of mind. Um, there's something that needed to be protected for you to come into this. You needed that protection first for you to come into this. There may also be more than one energy, but this emperor figure is like they are stern. They may have also siphoned finances from you somehow. Somehow they got from you when you thought you were given when you thought they were given to you. They were getting from you instead. Alright, one more card. Judgment. Under judgment. Mm-hmm. They are under judgment. They are. And everyone is under judgment. I keep saying this. Everyone is under judgment. It's just like everything is being laid out now. On the table. And. Everyone gets to. Be on their path. And get what whatever it is that they have sowed. So this person is reaping what they sowed. Again, that depiction of the ditch is coming. When you are digging a hole, make it shallow because you may be the one to fall into it. The Hierophant there. They're still in their old ways. They're not losing it for anything. They're not losing their old ways. They are so held on tight, like too tight to their old ways and they will have to face whatever that comes with. You went a different direction and they are still on that path that they set out on. Two directions. They may be getting to you via maybe your dreams or trying to lure in you in somehow with some intimacy there may be that energy there. Trust that whatever it is as you are changing your direction is wearing out. You know, the energetic cords. Um, 
it was a long journey so I'm getting don't beat up yourself if it's not going away immediately all right it's one step at a time you see clearly you know the truth and to keep staying by your truth because that is what matters this four is also giving an energy of surrender for you towards your new path as you are emerging from the shadows this is your energy actually so yeah this is you emerging from the shadows coming into so many options what you have now is the gift of discernment okay with this 777 energy trust that you're being guided to the right ones that serve you that grow and flourish let me see what comes up in the angels and ancestors snake shed old skin yep that feels like your energy for sure it's like you completely dropped everything and you started to look a different way and now you're in the process of gradually um, shedding the old skin that is still i think that is still color the color of the third eye chakra so there's something to do with your on the unfolding of your subconscious so fears may come to the surface it feels like it's something that you're experiencing at this time fears coming to the surface you having to look back on some things because it feels like the change of direction that you had was swift it was swift so your body is acclimatizing is getting settled in this new direction stag trust and thrive you are definitely these are two war warrior symbols so you are in a spiritual battle you are covered by the divine again that gated community is coming up here your move is towards some fierce protection. They can't find you. What a guardian. Connect with your emotions. Yep. So as the fears are coming up, you're also having to connect with your emotions. You're having to... You're having to, to heal, right? It's your time of healing and also change great teacher learn from spiritual experiences you may be a teacher of some sort as well with the hierophant that came up stargazer set your sights higher yeah the hierophant came up and then the great teacher so you may be teaching or you are looking to teach in some capacity all right let's see snake shed old skin Snake is a warrior symbol. One, three, two. Okay. Cast off the old. Reveal your true colors, talents, and gifts to the world. In many spiritual traditions, the snake offers powerful medicine. In tantric yoga, it symbolizes the kundalini, which is the powerful serpentine energy within that allows you to reach your higher spiritual put highest spiritual potential. When the sacred ones saw a snake in nature or encountered one in a dream, they knew that there was transformation in the air. For me, the snake card not only represents the shedding of old skin, but moving beyond the limitations caused by carrying the venom of negative thoughts about others or the past. The energy of renewal is washing over your life at this time. If for some reason you feel that your true self hasn't been recognized or you've been misread by others, know this energy is now leaving you. As you've been walking through your old stories and, your, and all the self-limiting beliefs that you've accumulated along the way, you've been peeling away a shield of skin that has created limiting experiences. 
Your own personal commitment to growth has been recognized and now the external world will begin to reflect all of the work that you've been doing within. If you feel someone you love has misunderstood you recently, they will be able to see beyond that. Beyond that, if you are willing to recognize your own challenges, this is a time for renewal, abundance and connection. Let yourself be reborn and celebrated. And that is on page 133, which is number 7, stag, trust and thrive, which is also a warrior symbol. 134, number 8. Come alive and thrive. Stand in your light and glory with grace and majesty. The stag card brings graceful and powerful medicine into your life. In the Celtic traditions, the stag with his crown of antlers is known as the king of the forest and is a totem that brings protection in challenging times. You have an opportunity to thrive. Trust in all that you have to offer, all your gifts, all your gifts strength and power, and make the most of it. You were born to lead and this can only become reality when you are willing to put yourself in that position. Stark energy allows you to feel safe because the antlers keep away anything that could interfere with your intelligence and presence. And their strength gives you the power to be agile in your thinking. You are being encouraged to retain your dignity and be proud of who you are and all that you've accomplished. This in turn will give you even more power to thrive onwards and upwards. I share to that. All right, so let's see, Gem. Um, I see one card from here. You have a strong energy of 777, which is something that is coming to mind for me again and again. Just know that you are protected and guided along the way, your new path. <laughs> your new path and we have direction your purpose is unfolding slowly step by step as you go along there's no need to hurry or worry you are being oh lord you are being divinely guided what a way to round up this reading gem thank you so much for joining me and if this message resonates and is helpful please like share comment subscribe follow and i'll see you with more videos do take care